Hey everyone, it's Danielle from Cool Science Experiments Headquarters, and I have a pretty cool experiment for you today. We're going to use science to make what looks like an underwater volcano. Are you ready? Let's get started. To begin the experiment, you need a small glass jar with a narrow mouth. You're going to take a piece of string, you're going to loop it around the mouth, and you're going to tie it into a knot. Then you're going to take the other end of the string and you are going to thread it through the loop in the string that you just created on the other side of the mouth of the jar. Once you have it through, you're going to tie another knot. So once you have two knots on each side of the mouth of the jar, you're going to make sure both of the knots are secure. So give them another little tug. Then you're going to use some scissors to cut off some of the excess string. So what you've just created is a, a loop, a way to hold the jar up in the air. Okay. Now it's time to move to the next step. And for this step, we're going to use a funnel and we're going to pour boiling hot water into the bottle. Because it's hot, please use caution. Once the bottle is filled with hot water, you're going to use red food coloring and you're going to place some drops of food coloring into the bottle. So once the food coloring is completely mixed with the water, you're ready to move to the next step. For the next step, you need a large container and you're going to fill it about three quarters of the way full with cold water. Then you're going to slowly and carefully lift up the bottle and place it into the container. Watch carefully as you lower the bottle into the container to see what happens. As you can see, our underwater volcano is erupting. Can you tell me what's causing our underwater volcano to erupt? Leave a comment below to submit your guess and then visit coolscienceexperimentsheadquarters.com to find out the answer. You'll be able to print out instructions for this experiment and you'll find many more science experiments that you can do at home too. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. I hope you enjoyed the experiment. Click the button to subscribe. See you next time.